uh, hi everyone and welcome back to the series of uh, circuit practice problems we have another question here asking you uh, the waveform of two henry inductor so this is the voltage waveform it's shown so this is the voltage and we want to find the current so we said that th these type of questions how we approach them we have first to identify is this is uh, is this a derivative question or an integration question that is to start with so it's an inductor so we have two relations the first one that is VL, the voltage across the inductor, is equal to L DIL by, by DT. The second equation, IL, is equal to 1 over L integration of V DT plus IL of 0, the initial condition. So, what is the known value is the voltage. What is the unknown value is the current. So, it's an integration problem. So, that's... The most important question that you have to answer before approaching this problem. And as I said, it doesn't really matter if it's a capacitor or inductor. You need just to identify the, the problem type integration versus derivative. Now, second, now we will start, start to split the interval. This is common if it's a derivative or if it is an integration. So at t less than zero, Obviously, it was zero here, the voltage, and there is no indication that the inductor was charged. So easily, you can say that I L equal to, to zero. So we start at T equal to zero, and the current was equal to zero. Okay, now we will move to the second period, which is between zero to two seconds. So T less than two and greater than zero. Now we want to find what the current I L is equal to one over L. So it is one over half integration from zero, the starting to what? Not to two, but to T. Why to T? Because I'd like to find the current as a function of time in that specific period. I don't want to end up with one number to find the area under the curve. That's not my intention. My intention to find the function of the current so i have to take the integration from the starting of the limit until t and then we will have the the voltage which is five here d tau the always the d variable we make it different than the limit of the integration so if i use here t i will use d tau dx dy plus I L of zero, which we know it's equal to zero. So if you do this, you will find that this is equal to five over two times T. This is your, your current. Perfect. Now we will go to the second interval. So now T is less than four greater than two. Again, your I L is equal to one half. Integration now will start from two. To again to T. Now, what is the voltage here? Is zero. D tau plus I L. Now, I L of what? I L of two. Because now this is my initial condition for this integration for this period from two to T. My starting point is two. So, what is I L of two? I L of two can be found from the the previous the previous function of the current because the current is identified from zero to two with this function so add two that will be the current so i l of two would equal to what five over two times two equal to five five amps and as a matter of fact this is the whole current is equal to to five amps why because there is no there is no voltage so this is equal to zero so basically you charge as a linear function and then there's no voltage so the current stays constant until you either discharge or further charge as we will as we'll see okay now we will move to the third interval t is less than six greater than four so your i l same thing one half Integration from four starting point 
to t now the voltage is equal to minus 5 d tau plus i l at at 4 equal to i can take this out so this becomes minus 5 over 2 and this the integration becomes tau from 4 to t plus i l at 4 it is still 5 why because nothing happened we from 2 to 4 the current was equal to was equal to to 5 okay so this is equal to minus 5 over 2 t minus 4 plus 5 so this is equal to minus 5 over 2 t plus 10 plus 5 so it is minus 5 over 2t plus plus 15. okay excellent now the last thing at t greater than greater than 6 the voltage goes back to 0 so your i l is equal to 1 half integration from 6 now this goes to to infinity and or to t can make it to t here it doesn't really matter because it's equal to zero from uh, six to t and this is equal to zero d tau plus i l at six now we want to find this current at t equal to six now i t i l at six come you apply it here why because this is the current that is identified from four to to six so this is equal to this is equal to zero so this is equal to minus five over two times six plus plus 15 which is equal to zero this would be three minus 15 plus 15 equal to two to zero so let's see how we can draw this now so basically uh, we will just follow the same interval as the voltage this is my i of l so these are the changing points okay so uh, let me change the color so that you can see it clearly here okay so at t less than zero is equal to zero okay and then the current between zero and two is equal to as we said five over two t so at two this is equal to to five so this is five so we'll have here a linear function reach to five and then this stays five as it is until four and then it will start going to to zero so we have it like this and then stays as zero and now this make sort of sense we start with no current then we charge the current with a voltage equal to five. So the the, uh, the inductor gain a charge, gain current. And at t equal to two, this becomes equal to five, constant. Then I charge the inductor with negative voltage. So a sort of canceling the previous one, especially that the two voltages are exactly the same. So it will cancel the stored energy or the stored current or the stored magnetic field in the in the inductor because this is the same value and for the same time now if this is happened at a different time interval let's say three seconds or one second or at different values of the voltage then they will not cancel there will be some residual either in the negative or in the in the positive side okay so this is how we approach an integration uh, problem. 